from this project, I've taken up a lot of the work on socioeconomy and how economic factors get into either radicalization or the improvement of radicalization on each part. In the good cases, where there is an improvement of radicalization, there is an intimate connection to the state or the European Union or other bodies' view of providing an economic incentive for the future, whether it's through jobs, whether it's through in infrastructure projects, whether it's through big investments in the future, whereby people can have something to look forward to and then not sort of drift down into the nothing to lose notion, which is then exacerbated or caused by Islamic violent extremism in that case.